Let's go over an example of when a basic coordinate system is not enough, and GD&T can really help out. I'm assuming all of you have some sort of mirror in your bathroom, or else you really don't care how you look in the morning. But either way, let's discuss how you would design the mirror to be perfectly flat so that it doesn't look like a crazy funhouse mirror when you mount it up on your wall. Well, you could do this by specifying this in a drawing. This is probably not how the mirror is designed, but let's just use this for the example. The drawing specifies the thickness of the mirror. However, what do we use for the thickness tolerance? Let's say that the mirror needs to be flat within 0.2 millimeters to avoid a wavy reflection. You've done some tests and you've realized that if it's over 0.2 millimeters, we see some sort of waviness all over it, but under 0.2 millimeters, it looks pretty flat. So how do you provide this design intent on the drawing? If you're polishing the mirror and machining a solid slab of glass, it's not enough to just hold the tight thickness tolerance since it could be warped. How do you keep it flat? The thickness needs to be held over the entire length and width of the mirror to be tight enough to hold the requirements. It would have to be really flat. One way you could do this is to add a plus or minus 0.1 millimeter tolerance on the thickness of the mirror, just like this. So it's all good now. You have two plus or minus 0.1 over the entire length of the mirror. But the thickness tolerance is now very tight, which is very expensive. And also, how does the inspector know not to just take a thickness reading on the part? What if the mirror is shaped like a potato chip? You could be actually passing a bad part if you just take a pair of calipers, go up and measure two millimeters and say, oh, this part's in spec. You could also be rejecting a perfectly good flat mirror because it came in at 2.3 millimeters, but it's still really good and perfectly flat. Do you really care how thick the mirror is? So the question is, how do you communicate the design intent universally so that the people designing, manufacturing, and measuring the part know what the part needs to really look like? To provide the design intent, let's add some GD&T to the print. You can see that flatness is called out on the surface of the part which means that it's important to be held flat. Everything else is still dimensioned the same way. The flatness callout simply states that the top surface needs to be flat within 0.2 millimeters, which is our tested value for function. Also, look at the thickness tolerance. It is now five times what it was before. Now everyone looking at this print can understand the design intent. The top surface needs to be flat, and that we really don't care about the thickness tolerance. It's not really critical. GD&T helps to refine an otherwise imperfect coordinate system to provide proper function while loosening tolerances that are not as important. 